So we're back in R&D, and we have an extra visitor to Victoria. I don't know what she's doing here, but that's all I'm saying. So we're doing the dough, uh, the dough for the pizza rustica now, okay? So this is gonna be pastry flour, salt, sugar, milk powder, butter, BBS, which is our shortening, and water. We're gonna let uh, you guys check out our family talk and taste on YouTube, and the recipe will be in the description, and we'll be right back to start mixing. Butter, our shortening, Good stuff in here. I'm gonna raise this up, close it, first speed, and we're gonna start the same thing. We're gonna cream this down a little bit. So don't forget, guys, when you mix, always scrape the sides. Half now, let it go, and then I'm gonna add a half later. We're gonna be, we're gonna look like ghosts in here. And like I said, the recipe is gonna be in our family talk and taste. Piano, piano, nice and easy. All right, so here goes round two. I'm gonna let this mix, it's gonna form like uh, like crumbles, and then I'm gonna put the water. Once it's combined, it's all set. All right, here we go. We're gonna add our water little by little. Piano, piano. Now guys, this is a big mix. When I put the recipe down, I'm gonna put exactly what I'm doing, but then you guys can cut it down to whatever size you want. So we're, we're adding our water little by little. This is our last batch. Now we're gonna let this go. Once it all gets together, one scrapey down, and we're done. All right, we're done. Same concept with this. We're gonna let this rest a little bit. we put in the fridge. And then we gotta mix our uh, we gotta mix our uh, filling. All right, guys, here we go. This is the filling for the pizza rustica, pizza chiena, whatever you wanna call it. Basically, we have rigotta, we have fresh eggs, we have our cold coats, we have pepperoni, salami, capicola, ham, and coppa. Those are the ones we have. You can substitute anything that you want. You can use prosciutto, whatever, for your boat. We have Romano cheese, we have basket cheese. This is the best. And we have eggs that I boiled and we're gonna chop up. So just to show you guys the consistency basically of the cold cuts, that's it. Rough chop, fairly large, that's how we do it. All right, and I'm gonna put the exact measurements in our family talk and taste in the recipe. And we're gonna be by the mixer next. All right, so we put our rigotta in, now we put our eggs. And we're gonna put our cheese in. And we're gonna give this a nice mishkat, a nice little blend. Oops. Sorry, mates. See, look. I pushed the wrong button and look what happens, even here. And then we're gonna raise the restaurant ingredients little by little. And then have to clean up this mess. All right, so now I already got the mix with the eggs. We're gonna stop it. Right, and we're gonna add our beautiful basket cheese. We're gonna let this go for a 
of one of my just to mix it in. We don't want, it's, we're just trying to blend everything in and actually finish it off with a scraper at the end. Now we're adding our cold cuts. Look at this, nice, chunky. When we cut this cold cut pie, it's gonna be nice and chunky. And I may adjust the eggs, cause the, the water content in the cheese varies. You know, it's a handmade product, our cheese. We buy fresh cheese. So we might have to add some eggs, but I'm gonna see on the end. There's a certain consistency that I'm looking for and I'll show it to you guys. All right, I'm gonna mix this up now. Let it go for a little bit. And then we're gonna add the eggs in the end. All right, so next we're gonna add our eggs. Look how nice that looks. Now we're gonna let this go just for like a minute or two and then we're gonna check the consistency. And I can look at it right now and tell you that we're definitely gonna need more eggs. All right, so the recipe called for three quarts. I'm adding another, about a half a quart of eggs. All right, so we got a 10 inch form here. I'm gonna grease it. I rolled out my handy dandy dough to about six or seven millimeters. This is the dough, the dough we mixed earlier. I'm gonna form it into the pan here. You're trying to get it as even as possible. I mean, it's not perfection, so don't drive yourself crazy if it's not perfect. All right, we gotta cut the sides. I use my hands, so I wanna do this quickly. And I can use my hands because we're gonna bake this, so we could use our hands. And plus, this is not for sale. This is for us at home. Then we have our beautiful mix here with all our cold cuts. Like I said, this is for me, so nobody go crazy because I'm not wearing gloves. Plus, I just washed my hands. I did, right? Didn't I wash my hands, girls? Yes. yes. All right. Now we're gonna do our top. Same, same thickness, our top. We have a docker. You can use a fork, a knife, whatever you want to make some slits in here. That's how we do it. And this goes on top. We cut it again. Now we're gonna paint it. Where's our paint? This is basically uh, eggs, beaten up eggs. We're gonna finish painting this and we're gonna put it in the oven for about an hour. And don't forget guys, family talk and taste, all the measurements and the times will be in there. Hi, honey. Hi, baby doll. So, you guys saw me make this at the bakery. I baked it, I drove home. It's been sitting, it's 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 cool. It's not 100% cold, but I think it's gonna flip good. All right. Ugh. Oh, my God, it's heavy. It's heavy. It's my favorite. It's my favorite too, but I'm a little scared. Ooh. Perfection. Ooh. Pizza rustica. Yeah, see, but look, see? Just want to show you guys. See how it's cracking a little bit there? Because it's got to still, it's got to still set. But I want to cut this puppy anyway. So let's just cut a puppy. Let's just cut this puppy up. We got to cut a slice out. Okay, cut. Just cut a slice so you don't have yeah. to cut it all. I'm cutting it upside down. I'll flip it again after, but just, oh. Look at that, look at this, see it's still oh, a little juicy. And I love that it's creamy, I could tell it's creamy. Cause you can't over bake this. See it's falling apart a little bit because it's still, look at that, it's still like lukewarm, look at that. Mm. Mamma oh, mia. Shit, that's good. Come on baby dog, you taste the piece. Today's not Friday guys, just so you know. You're probably gonna see this video on Friday, but today's not Friday. Today's Thursday. Uh -huh. Go ahead, baby doll. Oh my God. Came good, right? The crust is outrageous. The inside is cooked to perfection. It's creamily delicious. All right, guys. There it is.